Hello, welcome back, Turkish Films, Chess Day, number two. You guys see my opponent here is rated 1981. He's rated higher than me, I'm rated 1941. Um, all the numbers are the same except for the four and the eight, and he has the bigger one, and that's why his rating is uh, bigger than mine. Uh, here we go, we're playing a Benoni. I'm not used to them not taking here, um, honestly. I've always played it where they've taken here. So I wonder if they have to take or not. If I take his F... He has to take with the F pawn. Um, and then I think his king feels kind of strange, so I'm kind of tempted to take. Um, yeah, I think I'll take. And I'll play E4. I'm gonna just... Oh. I didn't think this was good for him. Because he can't play his B5 break. Um, now, I am I am worried, though, because... Playing a4 is a little risky bisky here, just because he has knight c6 to b4, and my pieces are not so not so excellent. So I feel like I gotta play a3. He was b5, I take, he takes, I take with the knight, that's pretty good for me. Uh problematically, I think he is just bishop d7, simply. Simply bishop d7, a4 to prevent oh I don't have to prevent the expansion. Uh I can just play my e pawn forwards. Like this. And my bishop is actually helping out with that. So I don't need... This is very strange. I think this is quite good for me. Um, yeah. he. I was just going to say he can't fiend kind of his bishop. Because I have... Bishop e3. And then I just castle. And I'm just better here. Like... I'm just developed and he's not developed. And being developed is better than not being developed. So I'm trying to figure out why the obvious plan of... Knight f3... Knight e5 doesn't work. Obviously, he has bishop g7, stopping that. Um, but I think even f4 is strong there. So we're... Oh, I can't play f4 if my knight is, is back. So we're going to have to push forward first. And then we'll develop our pieces. As we see fit. Uh, there's a bit of an issue if he pushes. I have to play h3 to coax him forward. And then it'll have to be knight e2. Which knight, though? Actually, you know what? I can attack his b-pawn. Right? I think attacking his b-pawn is totally legit. I do not appreciate his move. I don't think this was the play at all. Um, I think he just missed my... The whole point of this was to play my knight forward. And now I get to. Because he can't put his bishop on f6. I just push. Uh, yeah, I don't like that. Do I still push? Or do I take and then push? I take this way? I might be taking unnecessarily. Oh, there's kind of issues. There's small issues here, right? I think that exchange was bad for me. Okay, do I play e5? I like the idea of e5 to try to just break open the entirety of the center. Just blow it open. The problem is that he'll push g4. Hmm. Again, I still have ideas of knight a4 to attack the b6 pawn. I'm not so sure. I feel like this, this was or should be way better for me. But now I'm just not quite seeing everything. Because I need more attackers. I need his... Pawns to disappear. I have an idea of sacking the bishop, playing knight to e4, and then I'm threatening to play knight f7 check, winning the rook in the corner. Obviously, he has like a million and a half defenses to that move, so sacking is not good there, unfortunately. Um, he can just move the king to the side, just move it one square over. Uh, I'm also threatening knight to c6, perhaps. But I don't really want to trade pieces. Where does his knight go? His knight goes to... Yeah, his knight goes to h h6. Man, I feel like I messed this up quite badly, actually. Well, what I'm afraid of is him playing g4. So maybe I should stop him from playing g4 by playing g4 myself. Then he plays knight h6. Then I would play h3. Then he would take it. I would take back. He'd take the exchange. So that's not good. So maybe instead, 
we play g4, and when he plays that, we play bishop h3. I think then he can just put his knight wherever he wants. He can just put his knight on f f5 even. No, he can't put his knight on f5. I think that's the plan. We're going to go for this. Just trying to stop his last piece from... Trying to stop him from playing e5 and trying to get a grip on f5 as well. So that now upon playing e5, um, he can't really push, push so effectively. I think e5 is maybe good. Yeah, e5 seems solid. So he plays e5. Interesting. Well, this is a weird position, and I'm not even better, I don't think. Uh, let's see. So I want to attack him, because this king's in the center of the board, and I'm not doing anything about that. So let's try knight a4. And what does he play? Hmm. I'm kind of reevaluating now. I think I'm just going to go bishop g2, so I can double my rooks and hopefully try to crush him. That's the idea. But just saying the word crush doesn't mean it's the case. So also we have h4. And h4 is breaking through. So that's pretty cool. We'll, we'll try to break through here, like this. Uh, okay. And I'm worried that knight h6 still works. Yeah, knight h6 might still work. I haven't gotten this king through. Which is sad. I'm not actually threatening to take. I'm threatening to push forward, I think. Um, yeah, and then I'll put my bishop behind that to defend the g-pawn. And then I'll double rooks and try to take the knight. Um, and then at some point, I can sacrifice on the queen side. Um, because his pawn is backward and... Yeah, weak. It's defended three times now, but it can't be defended by anything else. Okay, we'll take with the knight, I think, is the more principled approach. Taking with the rook, I don't wanna I don't wanna let him trade, you know? That doesn't seem right. My knight is not doing so much damage. Um My bishop is so happy to go to e2. Um instead of its previous resting place. Uh upon bishop e2, I can then move the knight in if I'd like to. Yeah. Uh, bishop e2, I guess, doesn't work anymore. So we have to change tactics. I can drop my knight in the middle of the board, actually. I kind of like that. But I wanted to develop my bishop anyway, so we're going to develop like this. And can he still castle? No, he can't castle. Yeah, he can't castle. Uh, I wouldn't say the center is open. Um, yeah, I wouldn't say that. But we have, we have something going on, I think. We're threatening maybe if knight h6. Okay, that's a good move. We want to see we want to see moves like that. That's pretty good for us. So I think our plan. No, we're not gonna move the rook. Oops. We can't sack the exchange. Our bishop is actually really bad. We want our bishop to be a lot better than it is. Um. Both of our bishops, honestly. I feel like my knight on c3 is pretty bad. And I feel like my rook on h1 is just purely doing defensive work. So my guess is rook d2. When I swing my other rook to d2, sure, I'm sacking the knight, but I'm actually taking another knight. So it's just a trade. And I have tempo because I'm attacking the bishop on b7. So I do like the plan of doubling rooks. Um, I think that's got to be the path forward. So we're going to double rooks. And we're going to try to see where his knights go. I'm not so sure if his knight can go to h6. This strikes me as a strange move. Oh, he's defending He's defending the knight. That's a, that's a good idea. I like that he's defending the knight. Um, okay. So while we still have a moment, I think we're going to play this move. And we're going to threaten to fork the king and the rook. We're also putting pressure on the b7 pawn. The Arabian opportunity, actually, at some point, I'm seeing now, if the if the bishop weren't there... Actually, on this move, was there an opportunity? Okay, he took, which is interesting. Now, do we take with the pawn or the rook? If we take with the pawn, our bishop, our, our bishop gets better. If we take the rook, we can double immediately. And it's just a trade there. So I'm actually not so thrilled with that. 
So I'm kind of thinking we're going to take with a pawn, which seems crazy. So if we take with a pawn, well, we've got to take with the e-pawn, which seems scary because we're giving him a pa two passed pawns. Two passed pawns is more passed pawns than I want to give him. Hmm. Let's see. We definitely don't want to take with the C pawn because then our bishop is just so sad forever. So I think we take with the E pawn and we're going to move our bishop into E4 and then we're going to maneuver our bishop over to G6 with check. If the king goes over to F8, we'll drop it back to attack the knight. Okay, this is this is all good. I'm happy with this. We go like this. So we're moving on up in the world. His, his knights don't seem happy to me. His knights seem unhappy. Which is the opposite of happy, in case you were curious. And then knight h6 loses, I think. Um, because I, I dropped my knight in. Oh, this seems, this seems interesting. Uh, my rook is not needed here anymore. So my rook should improve itself. Uh, so we're going to improve the rook by putting it on the file. And now we can play bishop g6. And after bishop g6 check, we can play knight into f5. If we don't play knight f5 first. Knight f5 first might be a great idea. Okay, he tries to stop this, um, which is sensible. We don't really want to let him get off here without like kind of charging him a price, you know? And if I play knight f5, takes takes, it just seems like he's kind of getting... He's kind of getting himself he's getting himself situated. Although we are infiltrating quite heavily. I'm running out of time as well, and that seems like a simple position to calculate. So we're going to go in like this. And I think his knight is going to be sad for a very long time. Um, I'm actually threatening knight h8. Okay, he tries to stop it. That is sensible. My knight is a lot better than his bishop. So we don't really, we don't really mind this. This transaction here. Uh, the question is, do we push g5 or not? We're actually just going to try to paralyze him. Like this. We're pinning the knight, and his other and his, his other knight can't move, right? So both of his knights are stuck. Um, is his bishop stuck? I can't tell if his bishop is stuck or not. I think maybe it is, because I, maybe d6 is a good move at some point, but... Yeah, I don't think... Okay, so he's trying to he's trying to do something. Which is, you know, better than doing nothing. One might, one might conclude. I think that... His... Oh, I want to take the bishop and then play bishop f5. To attack it again. That seems really compelling. Is there a better place for my knight to go? I'll wait until he brings his knight forward, actually. I'm just going to bring my king forward. Also, I'm running out of time, so i got to keep that in mind. Yep, like this. And I think we can do... I had a plan. I've since forgotten it. It's okay, we'll just keep moving our king up. We can take it if he wants. We'll take with the bishop. Yeah, we're just going to try to clarify a lot of stuff. I don't know. Maybe... No, I was going to say maybe he has rook. Rook g4, but he does not. Uh, I don't think this is right. I don't think he should be doing moves like this. There's some tactic now. Yeah, there's some tactic now where I take his bishop. Uh, I can't say I understand this. Hmm. Wait, did I miss something? Oh, I didn't. He takes the pawn. And now we go like this. Why am I am I hallucinating something? I think I'm hallucinating something. I'm out of time. We're just going to trade and lose. Yep. Yeah. 
Everything's defended. Yay, go defended. Let me just, those were just down. Uh, okay. Just don't play A5 so I can move forward and go en passant. And then I can shout en passant. Oh, darn it. I can't shout en passant. Because I would just be losing a pawn for nothing. So I'm going to go this way. might be good just kidding I'm losing pretty directly there we go and there's no chance for stalemate it's unfortunate it's time pressure and I made a mistake that's so sad he played very badly and I still didn't win Yeah, I just spent too much time. And this is bad. I gave up the pawn. What was I supposed to do here? Just not just not 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 go for this. Just go back. And just admit that he's making progress. Feels bad. Thanks for watching chess with Turkish films.